when he would spray, he would shake his mouth, so it would like his his crosshair shakes when he's spraying, and he still uh-huh. he kind of transferred that same quality to CS:GO. So it's funny if you're ever specking him when he's when he's uh, spraying a clip at someone, you'll see it kind of shake back and forth, almost looks like it's vibrating a little bit. All right, so there we go. This is going to be the pistol round coming in. Triple armor buy from Tempo Storm, stacking up some flashes and smokes too, and the bomb inched its way up towards the tunnel. This could go anyway at any point, but with the two man stack over to B, this tunnel play. Got to watch out for the USBs. Obviously, it could be very dangerous, but they're already smoking on out, and this could be a quick B take if they're able to check their corners in time. But just look at that. Ape tapping through, finds himself one. Holding the side, though, we do have Mo, who's going to get just destroyed as they just run over him, and then they take down Ape, too. So the bomb plant is going to come on out. There's a two-man flank coming in from tunnels, wondering if Temple Storm can deal with that right now. And then the one over towards the door, that's the Rabbit, who's been a pretty phenomenal player in Pugs, and he's going to come on in with this nade. The retake is going to be very tough right now, but with two over here towards the back of the plat, can they do much? They're going to tap away, take down Disciple, looking for Pex, and all right, this is going to be the first round over to Tempo Storm. Very nice, very well played, and just a simple simple Glock rush, Glock train. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because Ace actually had a, had a perfect setup for that. They had, you know, the one player in the back in the platform and Mo up close, and he actually even counter-smoked, and they yep. were even given that gift of that headshot through the smoke initially, and just streaming out, you know, if Mo doesn't get any kills there, he, he he has the opportunity to get basically two free kills, doesn't grab any of them, unfortunately, and it just kind of leaves his teammate in a really bad spot as they start rushing out that smoke, they can swing very wide on him, and retaking with a dis with a man disadvantage in that B bomb site is nearly impossible, it's so difficult. Yeah, so difficult, and we do have Ape actually picking up a scout in the second round with everybody else getting pistol armor, Mo just kind of going for the P250 naked vibe, but actually Ape tags one down, he's able to get the jump scout headshot on the stand as law, he's going to be a little frustrated by that right now, and still jumping and peeking though hades actually finds the headshot flash and then slip here jumping over the door knows someone's close disciple right in the smoke if only he could see what we see but it doesn't matter disciple pushes in and disciple was someone who was on area 51 and he he had a tough time there too but oh rabbit dinking out glorans the bomb gets planted and this round should be tempo storms we'll see pex is gonna find himself one onto ricks and i think they just save these guns and armor right now they do have full head armor at yeah. five seven yeah no no save it they, they've done so much damage and actually i wouldn't even mind if pex stuck around and tried to get some with that scout but they've done so much damage at the moment three kills so even though tempo storm's gonna win this they have a scout and armor going forward they have a five seven and armor going forward and they've gotten three kills so a uh, good round from them a good save round yeah good save round indeed so but this is some very aggressive B play. Both of those rounds uh, from from Tempo Storm, moving into that B bomb side very very quickly at the beginning of these rounds. And that's what you gotta do in Dust too. Just keep asserting your aggression, just keep pounding the rounds away in the start. At least take those first initial three just uh, off the bat. So we'll see Ape get himself the scout again, and Tempo Storm should be able to make this a quick 3-0. But who knows? We've seen five sevens do some serious work from the uh, CT side before, and they're not going to buy anything else. Just go for the full save, get themselves an op next round, and see what they can do with that. Yeah, they, they, I don't even think they'll be able to get themselves an op next round. To be quite honest with you, it would have to be a naked op, a glass cannon. So uh, just based on the money, and that would be a. Uh... That would be uh, that would be a risky buy here very very early on. So it, it'll it would surprise me if we don't see five Colts in the way of the counter terrorists next round. But this is another fast long play, so not really messing around too much in terms of spreading out and gaining map control on these anti ecos. Tempo Storm just very aggressively sticking together and taking spots. They do have one member watching the flank. This is going to be a free bomb plant for them in the A site. All right, so A site getting taken out, and nobody actually checking it out. But oh, a bit of a jump scout comes in, and Mo gets mulled down. Ape is gone, Rabbit's gone, Disciple as well. Pex is the last man standing, and. He's gonna try to find a kill at mid, but he'll probably me be meeting his defeat there. Oh, oh, never mind. Takes down Stan. Okay, never mind. Rick cleans him off. So, uh, yeah, that's that's just the quick three in a row, and this is the important round for Ace Gaming now. Yeah, very, very. Well, it's 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 a very important. See, there is the glass cannon out of Mo. So, I mean, I guess you know, knowing Mo, I should have assumed that he was just gonna go for the glass cannon. He wants that op in his hands. He's gonna take that towards Long. He's got a good spawn to grab the angle. No one from Long A has a spawn to really contest him with it. No one to really contest them at all, so here we go. They look for a little bit of a pick up, peek up mid, like Ape is just going to keep scouting for Cat if anything. And this is where we're going to start seeing the slow play too from Tempo. Yeah, and this is interesting as well because you, you talked about Assailant getting replaced for Hades before the season began. Assailant was their opper, uh, so now we were wondering, you know, I was wondering who their opper was actually going to be, who they were going to put that, whose hands was going to have the op in it come to these guns rounds. And it's actually going to be Slip, who's a former invite player himself uh, with Mousepaz, with that CLG lineup early on. Yeah, glass cannon off. 
this is this is always such a risky buy. Like you're either just gonna get mowed down or you're just gonna get headshot, and it's just like oh whatever. If you can trade someone out, that's gonna be pretty good. But he's bringing it over towards the cross, looking CT. If anybody kind of look goes for cat as well. But uh, bomb still hasn't been picked up, and they're they're, they're whittling away at this time right now, going Navi esque, taking it to a bit of a slow play and making Ace kind of sweat it out. But with that smoke out to B. If Stana's Law can find the entry and they can clean up both, this is a simple B take, and this should be the fourth round for Tempo. They're inching their way up mid, too. Yeah, and it looks like a blind counter, really. There's three players over towards A, and I don't think they've spotted anything. They were very spread out, oh. but the leg through the smoke is Florence, and here comes the hit onto this B bomb site. A lot of pressure being put onto Abe right now. But he's oh, disciple. The window. He goes down. They get some trades. Hades gets two nice entry frags. So there's the B bomb site. Now the CT spawn players are stuck behind a smoke at the moment. Pex is going to try and force his way through. He jumps, but he can't find Rikes, who gets the kill. So Rikes with a good lurk sitting over there towards the CT spawn. And I would think Mo would want to save this op too and rabbit with the M4 since he's full naded. But all right, Hades peeking out. Can't get more without the Galil, and he'll just fall after a quick double. And they're going to go for this retake. Two on two. This is doable. They don't have a kit, though, so this time is going to be of the essence. Slip still sniping from the back of Plat. Oh, Mo didn't find the shot. Gets a second one, but it's going to get taken down by Glorens. And all right, four in a row for Tempo. A bit of a hefty loss, but they got the bomb plant. They got plenty of money, and that's a good start on their T side. And they take that first gun round, which is so important. Yeah, that, that was that was huge, and I'm actually surprised to see them go for it. Even if Mo gets that last kill, that last player, uh, they didn't have a they, he didn't have a kit, so I don't think they would have been able to get that. But uh, a great call from Tempo Storm. Like I said, I don't think they spotted it because they didn't really get aggressive anywhere on the map. They just called a mid B split, and it was it was the perfect counter to what was offered up. So Tempo Storm continuing their tear on Dust Two against this Ace Gaming lineup. They're up four nothing, and another stack over towards mid and B from the seat, counter terrace is, uh, is going to pretty much give Tempo Storm the same bomb site, and they just they just basically cleared it out. So they're just going to walk up long. Pex is going to drop from a long-range battle, and they're going to get this bomb planted. Yeah, Rikes kind of just ran all the way up Cat, scouted out the A side. He's like, okay, nobody's here. So free plant over to the uh, Tempo side, and Hades is going to find one. They're going to be losing at least one player, but that's about it. And five in a row for the Tempo Storm side. Ace, you know, they're a bit of a addition of a Mo, you know, he's very, very energetic, he can be very loud at times from the games I've seen him play, at least for Area 51, and uh, sometimes communication is going to be a pretty big deal to, to work on when you first add someone new, but, okay. Disciple, he's got the P250, he gets taken out, no saving for him, and this next round is so crucial. Ace need to win this round. And I want to bring one thing up just really quick, because, uh, I often fall into it just because that's how I read it. Is it's Ricks, not Ricks. Ricks. Oh, I was saying it right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I believe he, he told me that last season, and I just it just slipped my memory. So it is Ricks. Okay. Okay. So Hades looking for that blind peek. He almost gets the timing there actually through the smoke in mid. But all right, second buy. This time Mo not going for the naked off. He'll have himself some body armor and. They're going for a weird, like, 2-3 kind of split with a quick rotator in mid in the 3-man and ape, so... We'll see, they're walking up, they're actually gonna inch their way out of the smoke. Oh, he got hit by the flash! Did not hear that? Oh, Ricks, he's gonna be going in, they're watching the edge of it, though. Disciple, he can go big here! Oh, he ends up missing the shots, though, and Ricks takes him down, and they have full control of this B bomb slide right now, nobody's inside of it. So, bomb plant's gonna come in, the retake is on, Santa's Law finds Rabbit, Ricks goes big with a double. And Pex finds Santa's Law, and 2 on 4, I'd say just save the guns. Yeah, absolutely, and this is just brutal because Tempo's not doing anything special. I mean, that round they just walk into B and, and win the early battle, and that's that's all it's really taken. That's a kill Disciple has to get, and they're using that they're using that off smoke a little bit uh, to provide them some cover, and they're they're kind of just abusing and winning these gun battles. So, uh, Ace is playing a very standard, you know, three three towards A setup where you mm -hmm. know it's almost like at a certain point cheat one cheat one of your players over. So I'd like to get them someone in CT spawn, and you can you, you have to trust your players at A to be able to delay the attack and get some kills. Oh, there's Pex taking one down, but Glorens is going to help clean things out, and Rix could spot him, and Pit Ape's going to win that, so he's going to be able to save this gun unless oh, Glorens can do something. He got That's him. what he does. He grabs it right at the end, so a nice shot by him. Nice. No gun save for Ace. So the economy is actually still looking pretty good for the uh, Temple Storm side. It should be a little bit of loss from Stannis Law, but they, they're they're mounted up a good front, and we should see an eco from Ace Gaming. Yeah, uh, yeah. They, they're going to just go for semi-pistols, and Go for some cheeky strat over to B. They're gonna five man stack it. Oh, this could be a good way to get a gun and try to save that one out, but who knows what's gonna happen here. 
Well, they they smoke mid. So so first of all, this B stack is is very common with the, with the mid smoke. So Tempo Storm is going to be very cautious in how they approach B if that's what they decide to do. And once again, A is completely clear. So we saw them twice now give up this A bomb site on eco rounds, and, and it looks like Tempo Storm kind of has that sense. They're gonna they're starting to lean towards A and. They're going to clear things out before committing, not wanting to run into any kind of a stack. All right, so... <laughs> I wonder if Ricks actually went for that smoke to be, like, they could have just been caught completely off guard, because they're kind of jockeying for the cat slash mid play, but they'll scout up with the eight man pushing in there, and, I mean, this is just a free A take for them. They do hear someone lower, though, so that might give something away, and, yeah, they're just going straight to A site, Temple Storm. This is, this is going to be the easiest plan in Money of Their Life. They flashbang into the B tunnels right now. We have Ace just pushing on up, and... They're not going to find anything, so this stack doesn't work out at all. Glorin's taking a little bit of team fire damage, but yeah, that's looking like it's going to be the impossible uh, retake for his gaming. Yeah, and it's it's too many clean rounds on their ecos. Not enough production is being done by Ace, and it's, I mean, these stacks are a good idea, but at some point you got to go find the kills. You look at this economy on the side of Tempo Storm, and it's just building. They haven't been losing too many players. And you even have Tempo Storm chasing these guns out right now. I don't, I don't really think there's a reason for it. Mo has an AK, sure, but they're going to be able to buy next round no matter what. They're just getting a little bit of frag hungry. And that could uh, that could end up being dangerous. Glorens is actually wheeling his way around Terra's spawn. Oh. And he's going to catch him from behind. He has, no one's even watching it. Yeah, Mo just falls like that. Glorens gets another one, and they clean it out. So no one watching from behind him. And Glorens is able to ha have a huge impact there at the end. So no gun saved once again. Mo's going to pick up the AWP anyways, but that's something they could have at least dropped over. Do we see a Swift 16-0? Is this, is this the dream right now for the Tempo Storm side? We probably would have if you didn't just curse it. Ah, oh, I forgot. You've done it. I've You've done, done it. it now. I've ruined it now. Ace is going to win around. so boy. Well, we'll see. Uh, at least this time, Mo isn't only having one kill. That's Disciple filling that shoe, but... Uh, Alright, going for a 2-1-2 split. Having Mo watch mid, look up towards Cat, and... He might actually find a quick kill, but... Let's see. Yep, and, and here's what they've changed now. They've done this 2-1-2. Two, two. They put two in the B bomb site because... because oh, he got him. Just abuse it. Yep, there's Mo. Nice pick from him. He's got to be careful. He can't give it right back either, but he's going to stay aggressive, trying to get a pick through this smoke, waiting for the head of Rix to pop up. Well, he started off big. That's a good frag to start with. Lawrence has been a big, big hindrance to Ace. And now Temple Storm is kind of get a halt. Their momentum's out of a bit of a standstill, and... Looking for any kind of push, and Ace Gaming is going to give to them. So, they, they have right. a long way to go. Yeah, and they're going to pop flash himself through the smoke. Rix is able to grab one. There's one more there, and he sees the nade oh. come out, but he can't get his gun out in time. But they have evened things up, 3-3. Three to three, And they had pit control that whole time, so they have a player now being very, very aggressive up long. He's going to be able to help them out. So, this is actually looking pretty decent. But the flank. the bomb back towards T-Spawn. Oh, Pex, he almost got flanked out there by uh, Slip. He throws the incendiary into the smoke. He missed time that or missed through it, but... They're coming up towards Cat here. Stan is Law. Apex, Apex, where is he going to look? Is he going to guess correctly? No! He's going to end up going down. This bomb is going to be rushed straight into this B, into this A-bomb site. Mo is looking for the quick peek. Gets the no-scope headshot from head uh, from headshot box there. And All right, two on two. Retake is going to end up happening. Slip. What do we got? A little bit of a long battle. He wins that one. Disciple goes down. The headshot from Mo comes in. Can he clutch this one out? I know he'd go absolutely insane if he did, but no. Gets caught with a nade in his hand. Slip salvages up an AWP, and I didn't jinx it. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Long way to go. Long way to go. So, can't win that one. Just Tempo Storm pour, pull it, pour, or pouring it on at the moment. And Pex was in such an awkward spot. And that was all because they had that. They, they, they chose to play Catwalk that round. And uh, one player, I believe that was Slip, actually got very aggressive out long. Was able to have that pit control for free basically the whole round. That's just what you give up when you play that Catwalk setup. And he, and he very intelligently got... Got a, got more aggressive and worked his way up into the bomb site when his teammates were in some action. So there's Mo going down early, trying to do a long push, just a dry long push, and he gets punished for it. He at least gets a little bit of information out of this one back there right now. But actually, Disciple picking up a huge kill on Santa's Law, who's lurking in those B tunnels, scouting out for some information. But mid was left completely open. Rabbit takes down Slip at long doors, and all right, this is this is a good lead for Ace to have so far in terms of the man advantage. But what do they do? Leaving the bomb mid, Temple Storm. Trying to decide which strat they want to go for. And I believe they smoked off CT, so... Oh, actually, that's a failed smoke. Hmm. Don't want to risk it. It's a bad smoke, but they're using it... Or they wanted to use it to, to pick up towards B, but they just got some information. Now there's, now there's one at the railing of A. And that's going to be the kill they look for. That's Pax trying to get to Goose. He gets taken out by Glorin, so down to a three-on-three. -three. Only one player even close to A. That's Rabbit. He's playing it long, and he has to survive. Hades misses the op shot. Nice. 
Once again, taking a battle, just fall back towards long and wait for your teammates. And now you look at this retake, it's very split. Cat's gonna be smoked off, so complete disadvantage for the retake here for Ace Gaming. Do they go for it? I don't think they should. Save the guns, bring it to the next round. They're looking for Exus at this point, yeah. They decide to back off, and Temple Storm could try to be greedy and go for the hunt for the kills, but I don't think they're going to, and that should put it at a quick 9 to 0, and Ace Gaming not having the strongest start to their season so far. <laughs> Having a tough time with Sivo as well, and let's see. Disciple, can he find at least one exit for himself? Rix is coming in, Molly's out back towards the plat. Oh, Disciple gives up his position. Rix, can he get it? He's gonna check out window, he drops down. Disciple wants to save the M4, yeah, he's not gonna go for the peak. Oh, he dies! Oh, that's that's a bad time for him. <laughs> like, that that round just, they, 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 they was fine. They were in a three on three, they were in a decent situation. Rabbit at long, I, I, like, you know, Pex gets picked off there. He's trying to make it to Goose to kind of set up a crossfire, but Rabbit getting picked at long like that once his teammate falls is just silly. You, you just fall back to Pit, you hold the long, and you, you make sure you can find Tempo Storm to the bomb site or to Catwalk for the retake, and you give your teammates a chance to come in for the rotate. Him falling there was... That, that's when the round really, truly was lost. So, attempted long pick. They're just going straight up Cat here. They actually get smoked off a little bit there by Abe. MoTV still looking for the shot up mid. Doesn't find it on Tugalurns this time, and still going to keep an eye out on Cat. And they're grouped up here. This could be a swift A take with only Ape watching with an AK. They could get into the site very easily and plan for Cat. But they're just keeping it simple. I, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Like, Tempo Storm, man, just finding the initial entries. Even when they get entry themselves, they're finding, you know, counter frags. But they end up mauling off the site. They took down Mo in mid, and there's only one over towards B, but they have no idea about that. And <laughs> Glorious is also looking for flankers, too. They're playing this so safe at this point. They're like, we want to keep this as a perfect game. Right, well, they got to pick at the one-minute mark, so they have over a minute to work with, so yep. no reason to not be cautious moving forward. And now you look at the defense. Two players coming down the CT ramp because they know their mid player is gone, so they're trying to cover it. So they're trying to do it as best as they can while staying over at A, and Pex is in a tough spot. He's got to get a couple really? of can't even get one. He falls... And now Ape, having to watch Long and Cat, he gets mowed down as well. Rabbit, it's his turn, and he falls, so clean sweep for Tempo Storm. A nice execution up that catwalk. This is just a slaughter. Tempo Storm just having the way with it. No one dying this round either. Disciple's going to save himself a naked M4, and... Oh, he gets a kill at least on the Ricks, but they're going to start hunting him down now, but... I don't... I don't know what else to say, honestly. Like, Tempo Storm playing this one flawlessly. This is against someone of... I would say... I would think they'd be their same skill level. But Temple Storm proving me wrong. They're they're just outshining them completely, and I like I said before, I can't wait for this matchup between a tier one team in NA at least. Here's the thing too: if if Mo can't find success with this op in the early portions around to give them an advantage, they need to do something aggressive to take the fight towards Tempo Storm early on. Get that pick, get a trade, or get some information, and then you fall back into a more passive setup. But you know they've been playing so passively, they've been letting Tempo Storm pretty much have what? the way. There's Ape. Oh, what a <laughs> shot from him! Mo baits it out with the scout. And Ape gives him that advantage. That was a serious, like, flick right there. But Slip yeah, takes down it, Ape. Gives it, gives it right back. So Jeez. he didn't gain anything out of it. And now Disciple's even been tagged. So he's down to 9 HP. So, you know, you had an advantage. You give it up. And not only that, but you're at a disadvantage completely now. Would you consider that, like, an aggressive repeak? Like, like an overconfident kind of repeak there? But Mo salvages up the AWP. He gets Glorins. They trade out Rabbit, though. And Apex, Pex here, excuse me, on Cat finds one. Looking for a second of Santa's Law. No. He'll fall out. Now it's 2 on 2. But the bomb Bombs is back to T. Yeah. yeah. Mo, he's in a great position for this cat player if he re peeks up. Okay, never mind, he doesn't do it. That's uh really interesting to say the least in this this eleventh round that that happened, but they're in A site but no bomb. Kind of faking it out, I guess. And maybe you're gonna look to just frag out the rest of this round. Forty seconds on the clock, this is plenty of time to do it. Disciple holding in C T. He's gonna get pop flash, they jump on down, and there you go. Slip takes him out, and now it's just all up to Mo. He's got this op at long, and he might find one? He should be able to one? catch one. He should be able to catch oh, one. Oh, nice. He finds one. Okay. And Santa's off with 30 seconds. I believe he has enough time to run it to B? Is there even enough time? Well, well here's the funny. Most most are going to play this, and they played that 2-2 two and two like the terrorists had the bomb. So leaving this bomb in T-spawn is throwing, you know, Ace Gaming for a loop. They don't know They don't know what's going on. Disciple's probably very confused as to why they did that to him. But Mo is actually being very patient. Now he's Perfect gonna position. Yep. And he's going to get that kill, so Mo gets a three kill that round and a one on two win. Saved a little bit by the bomb. So that's going to be the first round for Ace Gaming. Yeah, huge misplay by Temple Storm to leave that in the uh, T spawn. But All right, first round, Ace MSI. Not calling a comeback, but it's a good, good round indeed for Mo.
get a triple kill, and they're still forcing it up. Double Famas is coming in with M4s, and this op is a huge thing. Mo TV, you gonna look for it? Uh, he's looking down suicide. Can't get the flick. He gets tagged up himself though. Mm, that was a really good round for Mason. Suicide, at least it's just a clutch out. It looks pretty sloppy, but it's they're gonna take it when they can. Right, and four, play they, four players over towards Long, they actually left the bomb. I don't think that's going to be a mistake. They, they no. continue to make one goes to pick it up, but it looks like they almost want to go for this delayed Long control, and there are two players stacked there. That's Pex and Rabbit. And that's a that's a pretty sick crossfire to run into. That's going to be very tough for them to break. Okay, so coming out towards Long, they're inching their way up right now. Rex is going to lead the charge. He gets just mowed down immediately by Pex, and then look at that. Slip responds, a one for two. His exchange is just not going the ace way, and they have the smokes with the cross. Stannis Law is going to see that the ace side is completely open, and actually hear them over towards CT. And Ape, he's in a big position right now. If he can kill off the Catman, that'd be absolutely crucial for their round. But Stannis Law, he's going to take him down. He's going to look for a second here. Can he get Mo? He's spraying down. He actually digs him, but the USP comes out, and the bomb's been planted for long, and the retake is on again. We're in a two-on-three situation. Mo at 17 health, though, this time. It's going to be much harder than last. Round. I don't. I don't even think they're gonna go for it. And they're getting flanked out from behind. Oh That's no! Gonna be Glorans grabs one. He's got one more to take, and he does. Rips off the head of Disciple there. So eleven to one. Tempo Storm. Don't let Ace Gaming build any kind of momentum. Don't let them string any rounds together. Economy's reset. Maybe it was just a strategy from Tempo Storm. Like give him one round. We'll break their economy easy. So we got a scout coming from Mo again. Yeah, he's not afraid to buy. And all right, we're getting close to the half. And Tempo Storm show no sign of wanting to give up any kind of momentum. Hades looking for the pickup mid. Oh, he actually wall bangs Mo through that door. So putting him down to six and already a tough start to the round. And they're just going to be pushing straight out. They know the economy's kind of messed up. And look at that. Rick's going straight in with a P90. Spraying and praying. AD and all that's inside. And now Mo with the scout. Looks like he might just give it up. No, he gets shot in the back instead. Pex with the PT50 coming off cat. Takes on slip. If he can bring that off into the next round, that'd be pretty big. But I mean, this is, this is still looking like just a big stomp. Oh, it's a huge stop at the moment. Even the P90 by Rix picks it up because he knows they're on an eco run. Nice shot from Pex there. Well, flashback. He's got a lot more to deal with. Oh, he's full blind. <laughs> and there's the P90, not even stopping, picks up the op. So Rick's having a field day with that. Yeah, that was. And you know, you you, you said he was the one to look out for. He had a he had a fantastic uh, premiere season. He was leading in, I believe it was ADR and second in FPR. Maybe flip those. Uh, but eighteen and seven at the moment. Glorens as well, uh, a strong player who's got some invite experience. He's sixteen and three at the moment. And I gotta say, I've been enjoying like Hades. It seems to be pretty pretty well with this AWP. He's been doing some nice shots out towards mid. But coming out for a long push, Glorens is gonna get shut down immediately by Pex. Looking for the trade, Slip, can he find one? He lit up Rabbit, he's gonna eat the nade to the face though. And in the meantime, Hades took down Ape in mid, so. We got ourselves a situation where they wanna go, they're gonna pop flash out towards mid here. Smoke up CT, and Hades, he's gonna have to watch his back, he's got the Tech 9 out, takes down Disciple, and there you go. B site left completely open now. Oh, and even on the top of the smoke, Hades takes down Pex. <laughs> insult to injury. And... Yeah, they're just rubbing yeah. salt on the wound right now. Yeah, Mo can't go for this. So he's just gonna have to chill. So this is an absolute beatdown from Tempo Storm, and this is pretty much in line with the the two matches they played on this uh, last season. These two teams head to head, Ooh, both went in the way of Tempo Storm. Never quite this big of a, uh, of a spread. It was 16 to six and 16 to 12 last season for Tempo Storm. Um, but Mo really, uh, you know, I thought he, his production with the AWP would would help them out a little bit, give him a little bit more of a shot. And we talked about their T side struggles with 14% win rate on their terrorist rounds and. This uh, on their defensive half right now, they're just looking uh, a little bit, a little bit lost. Yeah, they lose the pistol. They probably lose the game on the switch of the half. So we'll see. Right now, just going for aggressive plays against Anna's Law has been asserting his dominance over here to the B bomb site. And let's see, An aggressive push from Mo pays off. Out long and hmm. that's something you can actually catch Mo doing. He's been doing that for many, many seasons on every team. He love, he loves that dry long push. He got punished for it earlier, but he goes right back. Oh, whoa! Stan. <laughs> what an absolute beast of a shot. I, <laughs> Jeez, just keep an eye out for him, see if he can get any more taps here. Rabbit's going up towards Cat. He's got the 5-7. There's actually three up there. Santa's Law is going to find himself a double possibly. Yeah, but he gets cleaned up. And now, one on two. Disciple, he's over here towards lower. And Lauren swiftly responds, and that's that's 14-1 to one in the rounds. That <laughs> shot by Santa's Law. Holy cow. That was unbelievable. 
Yeah, just a quick tap. That was oh, it. Nice little jumping one tap. <laughs> They're getting fancy here at the end. Yeah. So there we go. Temple Storm. They take the pistol. That's that's it. It's lights out. I, I do you even think it's possible for Ace to kind of? No. Okay. I I always like throwing out the option, but yeah, it, feasibly it doesn't seem likely. So they they prevented the goose egg. They prevented the sixteen zero that you called out. So hey man, that wasn't your, that wasn't my victories. call out. Gotta take your victories where you can get them. Hey, I called it out like six rounds before that happened. All right. I guess I'll never mention a 16 0 again. No, you never do that. <laughs> so mass armor coming in from Tempo Storm right now. The half has started, and let's see. Santa's all even picking up a kit, so that's gonna help out a bit. They're looking for the taps up mid right now. They can't really get them. Jumping back and forth is the nine man who's keeping them a little preoccupied in mo. This is gonna oh. be this is gonna be a nice. flash out mid, but Hades just puts it to rest, pushing out towards Xbox. It's one nice headshot, not able to get away, but here comes the smoke. It looked like that smoke was actually for them to go towards CT spawn, but nothing really doing now. Santa's is gonna smoke it off himself, and a second smoke from the terrace comes out, and he's wheeling his way into these smokes, and he's in a really awkward position. But Ace is just gonna execute the around. The flank. Him. Stan gets one beautiful shot. Pex takes out Slip, so the B bomb site is open, but hot on their heroes with a counter terrace. Ricks. Gets dinked, but controls the recoil, controls the aim punch, and gets one of his own, down to a two on three. Alright, so, let's see if they can retake this right now. They still have the kit there on Stan. Lord's is going to be coming out the tunnel. There's one outside door, there's one playing back site, and that's Pex. Can they get this tap? They know where he is at this point. He finds one. Actually, Mo found the other, so this round is highly winnable, but, again, they have that mountain to the climb, and we'll see. Rix is going in. He's trying to take out the USP. Pex is looking to peek him out. And he shouldn't be able to do this right now, yeah. He'd, he'd have to be insane if he made this happen, like, Shroud-esque, but... Alright, Ace, put two rounds on the board, and... I don't know. <laughs> it's it's is, still gonna be tough. Uh, that's Ace's first pistol round win in uh, in the current SIVO and uh, ESCA season, so they're 1-8 they're and eight on pistol rounds so far. Alright, picking up stats, trying to trying to help out a little bit for their season, but... Alright, 5-7s, pistol buys coming on out. Temple Storm not picking up armor, though, so not committing to it fully. And... They, they should lose these next two rounds, at least, unless they catch Ace off guard completely, but who knows? Anything can happen in CS, and we've seen how strong the pistols can be. Well, and we can see how Tempo Storm can just flat out out-aim Ace Gaming yep. so far in this match, so very, very scary round for uh, for Ace Gaming. So they're making their way up towards Cat. They're going to see that nobody's up here, and there's actually a serious position for Hades to flank out this bomber, catch the bomb off guard if it runs too long. All right, keep it defensive, keep it strong. Ace is going to let Tilius get some rounds on the board, and Santa's Law, he's going to be able to spot the head there of Disciple. The scout tags him up, and he's forced to retreat, and they just go straight to this A-bomb site. It's just looking like what uh, Temple Storm did to them. They, they left A completely open, and they're more than happy to take it. Yeah, and it's not a huge issue because because Tempo Storm didn't buy didn't buy any armor or anything, nope. so they didn't have a huge investment in this round. On rounds where you see that investment, especially if there's a scout, there's a lot more information gathering, a lot more peeking, and these these naked stacks like the ones that Ace Gaming did in the first half just don't work anymore. You have those pistols, you want to play it like a gun round, you want to get the information and rotate in a position because these pistols are so powerful. You can win you can win these rounds very easily that way, but the naked stacks just aren't effective anymore. Well, the money's gonna stack on up, at least for the ace side. And uh, they're putting a bit of a tap on the break for Temple Storm. Once the gun round comes out in two rounds, that's when that's when things will get interesting and we'll see how they can contest. But Hades finds one kill at least on the ape. And he'll go trade it back out, but Alright, one more. One more to go and we'll see. We'll see. So keeping the scout, keeping the buys, actually picking with AK and a Galil. They're... What Hades Hades actually hasn't bought anything I don't believe in these eco rounds he's just completely full-blown saving to have an AWP for his team he's got 3400 he buys a P250 but he's gonna be able to drop an AWP or use it for himself on the CT side everybody crossing once again to B they really want to get this read and catch him off guard hmm. they're gonna only be running at the pecs though we'll see the one man in Hades too is taking a long position and disciples ready and waiting for him you know, both these teams are not afraid to take it slow. Flash comes out. Actually, Hades is completely blind. They check their corner, and Disciple takes him down. So they'll be they'll be more than happy to push up Cat again and take it for free. Just build with their bank. I mean, this is this is the best chance they have of getting any kind of roundage on the board. And they don't have the bomb though. They're kind of keeping it back again. They want to pull a Temple Storm where you just leave it in the base. 
Yeah, and, uh, but they've, they've done it well. They've taken it slow. They've gotten the information. They didn't rush into anything, and now they have that A-bomb site. They can pick up the bomb and, and go over there. So that's, that's a good management of the Zika round. And part of the issue is... Uh, you know, when you're when you're trying to make a comeback, and this is a you know a huge dream for them at the moment, is you need to build up some economy. So even when you lose players, you're not forced into a weak buy at any point. So um, five players surviving so far. Pex is going to go down here, so they lose one. Not a huge issue, but uh, for the most part, securing their economy going forward. So they're they're frag hunting right now, looking looking for him. Can they find Rix? He's just crouching behind the smoke too. The bomb's going to blow any second, and he's going to get flanked out. Okay, he's he's gone. Goodbye, fair Rix, but. All right, this is this is the round Temple Storm wanted. They were waiting for, and uh, we'll see everybody full buying up full nades. Saved up quite a bit. And what do they got? They out for Mo? Yep, they do. So the big battle of Hades and Mo in mid. That's that's a thing we highlighted earlier on. The op is a big point of uh. Well, they actually they, they let they let Slip use the op on the T side. So pretty interesting. Uh, one other team, Nihilum, does that as well, or did that last season before they uh. They switch their opera on T and C T side, so pretty interesting to see. But this long defense gets completely blinded, and so does the attack. So it's delayed to come out right now. Pex gets a nice shot on the Glorans and it opens up the pit. The last two CTs just have to fall back and readjust the defense. So a nice take there from Ace Gaming. <laughs> Rabbit actually getting hit by his team just a little bit, teammate a little bit. Uh, they actually decide to retreat off. They can still go plenty of ways. They have another minute to work with here, and the B site was left completely open, but they don't know that just yet. So flashing over mid, still making a bunch of noise. They still have long control if they want to go up there. And uh, they'll molly off Cat too. A little bit of a flash comes in here. Ricks, he can't line up the shot though. He's gonna end up going down. Slip finds one himself. They take down Hades and three on? Oh, actually a four on Stay two. On Cat. Yeah. Oh, I thought I could have done some damage. Three red players for Ace Gaming. So this is a very winnable two on four at the moment. It's gonna be all on Santa's Law, what he can do when they come out Cat. I'm jumping up, Santa's Law. Oh, I believe they heard him towards Elevator too. They're just crouch walking their way up there. Just crab walking it up. Mo is still holding long, so nobody can really come out of CT safely. And all right, that bomb should be going down. This is a doable retake though, with three people at double-digit health. Like this is very possible, or about sub-20 health. So simple taps gonna be enough. But Rabbit takes down Slip on Cat, and that was a big man to keep alive. And Santa's Law here over at Elevator. He will find one on Ape, so that's pretty big. He's gonna get shot in the back a little bit, and there you go. Rabbit takes him out. And Ace are piecing it together one by one. That's how they have to play this right now. And Temple yeah, Storm will be on an eco. Yeah, long way to go. So, but they've had some good rounds here, and, and they they did a great job taking that long control uh, very efficiently, forcing the defense back, doing a lot of damage, and then rotating back towards Cat. Uh, a very good performance in that round by them. But still, so much to do going forward. I mean, if they if they somehow pull this back and. Bring it to like a 14-14, I'd be very astonished. And I'm sure Temple Store would be scratching their heads just a bit. There's a bit of that four-man stack over towards the tunnel right now, and they're going to be breaking their way out into this B-bomb site. They know that they're on the eco from Temple Storm, and there they go. Mo finds one onto Glorance. He's going to get flanked out immediately, though, by Stannis Law, and they lose the AWP, which is a pretty big deal. And uh, they'll be looking to save that, at least from the Temple Storm side. I, I doubt they're going to want to use it for a retake. Yeah, absolutely no reason to. In fact, they should probably devote one person to just protect him, keep the AWP. And so now they're going to get a close up. Yeah, there's there's no retake event of it. But you're right that, that losing that off from Mo, I mean, that's just a mistake you can't make. He's all alone in the middle of the map, just gets flanked out, and you're giving so much money, so much economy over to the to, over to your opponents at that point. So they look for exits. They look to hurt the economy a little bit, but Ace is still looking pretty nice there. And. Ricks coming up behind. He's got the CZ again. That's Satrak Victoria. Let's see what he can find. He's going to find one. Takes on Rabbit. And uh, can they get this AK and stay alive with it? Yep, they can. Okay, so they, they get two big guns actually to hold on to the next round. And uh, that'll be, what is it, four in a row right now for the A side? Yeah, four in a row. Five. Oh, five, excuse me, on their uh, T side. Okay, we hit we hit round 21 and uh, not looking to stop right now, but full bought up Temple Storm again need to need to take this one if they want to try to close this out quickly. And yeah, now there's a double op setup too on the CT side. Slip and Hades both combining to do it. One over towards long, one over towards uh towards middle. And Mo with his op. He's towards mid as well, so he's gonna get into a battle here. Is he ready for it? He does, he wins it, takes out slip, so there's an opening pick for them, and that's gonna free up. The passageway up Catwalk, they're smoked off, but they do have control at the base Hades. of Cat. Nice. Pushes out CT, takes the man who was looking to push mid doors, but Mo, let's see if he can take down the other opera here. He's still holding that gap. He's going to get flashed out, but even blind gets the wall bang kill. 
And now Stanislaw, he's taking the position of Hades. He's gonna take down Mo. He's gonna be frustrated running through that door. Stanislaw finds a second. Can he get the third? No. He gets tag teamed, and now it's two on two. Rabbit going up towards B ramp. He's gonna take it down by the top of the smoke by Ricks. And now Glorens, they know what the last man is. Pex, he's gonna get shot in the back. Nope, takes it to the face. And all right, Temple Storm get that 15th and very important rounds. Yeah, and Mo's, Mo's really come alive with his AWP in this uh, in the second half. A little too late side. though. Just a little too late. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, but but let's let's be real a little bit. The issues that they had in their CT side weren't just because of Mo or the op no. or anything like that. <laughs> but he's definitely opening some avenues up for them here in the second half with it. All right. So they did have plenty of money to just keep on rebuying with the five rounds they put together and. Temple Storm want to end this one early. They're actually going for a cheeky stack on a uh, cat right now. Just two man it up, trying to throw a uh, ace off guard, and here we go. Mosey look to peek out. Oh, actually spots it out and won't be able to get anything off of it. But he sees two on catwalk. He, he knows one was boosted, so he so he calls out two on catwalk, and now it's all about the response. What do they do here? And they just slow down and set up into a default. Yeah, still plenty of options for them to go through and. You know, there's still plenty of good CS tonight, and this is one of the good matches, but. How did they go? Ape is holding off tunnel. He's looking for any kind of push. He's gonna get smoked off and say, damn it. But everything's covered right now. Temple Storm not going for aggressive pushers. They learned the hard way last time, but there's that man sneaking up long and that's Disciple. He could actually yeah, open up this round. Yeah, and Hades left long as, as well. So that's gonna be tough. That, that could provide him something. And it looks like, I mean, the bomb's still in mid, so they've got to work their way up catwalk, but it's smollied off. Florence is gonna win that oh. battle now long peaks. Hades wins that fight, so they had a cool crunch going on, but now everyone's just shutting it down. Glorans and Hades combining for four kills so far. It's all up to Ape, who gets a nice shot with the op, but so much to do. One on four situation, and it looks so promising for, for a short time. Let's see. He's, he's got to get the ace here to win. <laughs> Be uh, pretty pretty nice for their name if he gets the ace here, but... Smokes out. He's running up Cat. They know where he is at this point. Both of them push out towards CT. Hades can't get the shot. Santa's law, though. Oh, actually, Hades does get the shot. Never mind. And that's going to be the 16-5. Uh, or 16-6, excuse me. In the favor of uh, Temple Storm.